Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy to have you here for another video. We are going to be going through some of my recently finished up empty beauty products. As always, I will have the accompanying blog post linked down below in the description box. That is where you can find all of the links to the products that I'm talking about if you're interested in checking any of them out for yourself. And while you're down there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. I am really excited to get into this. We've got some good stuff to go through. So without further ado, let's get into the first category. Starting off with one of my favorite products from Coco Kind. This is the Sea Kale Clay Mask made in collaboration with Shut the Kale Up. It's one of my all-time favorite products that they make. It's so good. I love to put this on for like 10 to 15 minutes on a day that I'm washing my hair. So then when I get in the shower, I can just get it all off. Um, it does dry on your skin, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry afterwards, which is what I really like about this. So would highly recommend this one. Next, we've got this Cora Organics Turmeric Brightening and Exfoliating Mask. I just grabbed this, I think, on a whim one day at Sephora um, at the checkout counter, and I really like it. It gives you a physical exfoliant, but it also can be left on as a mask, so it has like a gritty texture to it, and it gives you the benefits of turmeric, which is an anti-inflammatory but it doesn't leave your skin like stained or anything like that, which I have experienced with other products that use turmeric. So big fan of this. I don't know if I would purchase it right away because I feel like I have a lot of other exfoliants and masks right now, but maybe in the future. Another one of my favorite masks is from Goldie. This is the Clean Greens Purifying Face Mask. I believe I finished up the other one, the uh, brightening mask in my last empties video. And I really like that. I really like this one as well. One of the things I really like about this is that it's a powder. So it's really easy to just like mix with water and it's really fun. It's, you know, a little like art project for your skin. Um, and I also have been using on an unrelated note, I've been using the vegan coconut collagen powder from Goldie. Um, in my smoothies, I put it in my oatmeal this morning and I've really been liking that. Um, so they do also make edible products, um, not this, but they have like matcha and different supplements and stuff as well. So I would recommend checking that out as well. We've got a few eye masks here. This one is the caffeine eye mask from Sephora. Honestly, I don't really remember anything standing out about this. So if you are into it, you know, go for it. But I don't really think that that was anything too exciting. I've got two here from Patchology and I've got, um, those are just their brightening ones. And then I've got this, this is a tea infused one. So it had like a really pretty pattern on the, um, gel, but I've actually been using lately the do forever eye mask. And it's a silicone eye mask that you can put, a uh, eye serum or eye cream on underneath it and then you put it on top and honestly that I've seen more results from than I have in a lot of these like longer term like it makes my makeup sit better I feel like it really gets everything absorbed into the skin I will link my TikTok that I made about it um down below so you can take a look but I would highly recommend checking that out because it's also a much more sustainable way to use products than purchasing like these single use items. Jumping into the next category of cleansers, I've just got two products here. First is the Pharmacy Green Clean. This is the Makeup Melt Away Balm. This is my favorite way to take off my makeup. I just take some out with a little spatula, rub it all over my face, use water, to clean it off and then I will use a cleanser afterwards and I really like this. I definitely am going to keep repurchasing it for the foreseeable future. Um, it's really, really awesome. And for a face cleanser, which would be the second step in a cleansing routine. Also, I'm so sorry if you hear any noises, they are doing construction right now on the roof across from me. So I'm really sorry if you can hear it. Just a disclaimer. Um, but this is the Osea Ocean Cleansing Mud. This is for oily skin and blemish prone skin. I really like this. My esthetician recommended it to me 
and it smells great it has like a peppermint smell and it gives you like a little tingle when you put it on and it feels really nice like the mud texture is awesome so I would really recommend checking this out and also I just love Osea's packaging like I love the glass I love the way it looks very minimal and clean sticking in the skincare category we're gonna go into some miscellaneous items starting off with these hydrocolloid patches from hero cosmetics this is the original which I use pretty frequently um on breakouts and i also really like this one this is the micro point for blemishes so it has like little sharp darts it really doesn't hurt it just like you know you just put it on your skin for like a second and it's like a little pinch this one has salicylic acid as the active ingredient so it really gets in there um so this is good if you have a annoying breakout that's like under the skin and you feel that it's about to come up i would recommend putting this on that and putting this on a whitehead um but you can try them out i know that they have other ones available um so you can try out different ones and see what works best for you if you've watched any of my other empty videos you know that this tower 28 daily rescue sos facial spray is my all-time favorite product um they actually recently repackaged it so this is probably one of the last times you'll see it in one of my videos in this packaging because i have a new one but i love this i use it all the time i use it after i put on makeup to refresh my face throughout the day after i wash my face um just like when i want to spray it um when it's hot out i use it all the time i have a little one that i keep in my bag and carry around with me and i have one that i keep in the fridge and it just feels so nice on my skin um and i'm just a huge fan of tower 28. we've got two coco kind products here this is the turmeric tonic this is a leave on spot treatment honestly i'm not a huge fan of this it's really liquidy and i think that they actually reformulated it after i got this because this is an older one um but you can use this it's a roller ball i don't want to open it just in case there's like liquid that's going to come out but you can use this to just roll on to any spots like you know just to treat different um breakouts and things like that so I would maybe consider trying out the new version of it if they reformulated it, but if it was in this formulation, I probably wouldn't try it out again. But something that I'm a huge fan of that Coco Kind makes is the Daily SPF Facial Sunscreen. This is SPF 32, and this is one of my all-time favorite products from them. I use it every day. I put it on my skin this morning before I started doing my makeup, and I already have a new one that I'm using. It doesn't leave your skin looking white or anything like that. You can just like apply it even though it's a zinc um, sunscreen, which I've had experiences with before where when you use something that is a zinc based sunscreen, it can definitely leave you looking like you have a white cast, but this doesn't do that thankfully. And I use it all the time with or without makeup on top and I have no issues with it. This is a really exciting empty from Laneige. This is the Radiancy Facial Cream. This is a vitamin C moisturizer, and this was actually the first uh, TikTok collaboration, paid collaboration that I did, um, which was really fun. So you can go and check those out if you'd like. But I really liked this. It feels really great on your skin. It leaves your skin looking brighter, more awake, and I really like using this in the mornings. And it's really important uh, to use SPF with something like this because vitamin C does leave your skin more susceptible to the sun. So definitely extra important to add the SPF on top. A couple more treatment products here. We've got an Indie Lee blemish stick. So kind of like the turmeric tonic or working with the hydrocolloid patches. This is a little wand uh, applicator that you can use to put on your breakouts. I already have a new one of this. Um, in our bathroom and I really like just putting this on um, breakouts like put it on in the morning and things like that so it works to you know get them less inflamed so they hopefully go down faster this is another exfoliant product this is from moon juice this is the acid potion resurfacing exfoliator I just love the packaging of this I mean I think it's just something with the glass because I said that about Osea as well but I just love this packaging it's so so chic and I really like this it does tingle a little bit um you can put this onto a cotton pad or even better a reusable cotton pad or just put it like directly on your palms and then pat it into your skin um I wouldn't use this more than like 
once or twice a week um just because i've definitely experienced overdoing it with my skin and using too many products which definitely can happen which is how you can damage your skin barrier so i'd be careful with that but um, so this just definitely isn't a toner I would use every day, but just use it as a treatment product. Similar to that, I had this little, I think it was a 100 point perk from Sephora, the TLC Sukari Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant. This is one of my favorite products that they make, and I don't think I've ever actually purchased the full size version of it because it is pricey, but I've gotten it in different like sets and things like that, and I always really like it when I use it. You can definitely feel immediate results after uh, washing this off of your skin. You only need to leave it on for a few minutes, and I really, really like this. I would definitely recommend this product. Um, above a lot of other different physical and chemical exfoliants. Next up, we've got the Topicals Faded Dark Spot Treatment. It's funny because this is actually uh, mentioned in a video of mine that I did over a year ago now, and it's my most viewed video on YouTube because people search for this all the time. So it must be um, something that a lot of people are interested in, which is awesome. But this is really great for putting on uh, dark spots to help fade them away. I definitely suffer from acne scarring after I get breakouts, which honestly can be more frustrating than the actual breakout because they will last a lot longer usually than the actual breakout does. So I definitely recommend this one. Next up, we've got a little sample size of the, this gorgeous moisturizer from Lush. This came in a gift set that I got around the holidays. And honestly, it wasn't anything too special, but I just wanted to finish it up. And I just, I might actually keep this because I think it'd be good for uh, traveling and, you know, transporting little mini versions of products. But um, honestly, this wasn't anything too exciting, like I said, but I really like a lot of other Lush products and I've got a few other to talk about here today. Jumping next into a couple of hair products. First up, we've got the Jupiter Balancing Shampoo. This is my favorite. I actually just reordered a bottle because the one that I have in my shower is almost out. So you'll definitely see another bottle of this in my next empties video as well. But this smells really good. It gives like a nice, but not too much amount of lather and it keeps my hair and scalp feeling nice and clean and with no issues or dandruff, which is definitely important to me because I have dark hair and I have had issues with dandruff before and it's not fun, so I really love that. Next up, we've got this Andalou Naturals Conditioner. Honestly, I just got this at Whole Foods one day because it was on sale and I was out of conditioner, so I just picked this up because it was there. Um, I did like the scent of it because I really like lavender scented things, but this wasn't anything like too special. Um, that's kind of how I judge things if I don't remember too much about it um, and I haven't repurchased it. Like I have a different conditioner that I've purchased since. Um, you know, if you need it, great, but I, yeah, not anything I don't think too exciting with this one, but something I do really like is this R & Co Prep Spray. This is really great to put onto wet hair um, to help it maintain whatever style. If you're blow drying it or you can put it onto dry hair before you style it, it's not heat protectant, but it, um, even though it does say, which I think it feel is kind of misleading, it says protects your hair from everything else you're going to do to it but it doesn't specifically say that it's like a heat protectant. So I would definitely recommend you have a separate heat protectant. I do. Um, I have a heat protectant that I use before I blow dry my hair. And if I ever heat style, um, like straighten it, I use that as well. But um, I did really like this. I like the scent of their products and I think all of them are packaged really well as well. Okay, we've only got a couple of makeup products here. First is the Super Glossy Top Coat by Olive and June. I miss their nail salons so much. They were one of my favorite places in LA. One of the first places I went when I moved here and I really wish that they had made it through the pandemic. Thankfully the polish brand did and I really love their polishes. I have um, one on today, it's CHM and I of course used a top coat, um, the same one from them. And I really like this, like I said, love Olive and June polishes. They're my favorite. You can get them at Target too, which is awesome. Or you can order directly through your website. Um, 
but yeah i really like this and would recommend if you see it at your local target definitely check it out next we've got this mascara from Kier weiss i believe i'm pronouncing that correctly um this was gifted to me they're actually a really sustainable brand which i think is awesome and they do a lot of uh refill products and like you can easily refill them but this was just getting a little dry so it's time to say goodbye i might look into it and see how i can like order more of the actual like mascara to refill it but i'm not sure if that exists for this but stay tuned Next up, we've got the Tinted Facial Sunscreen from Elta MD. I really, really like this. It's not expired yet, and there is still some product left in it, but it was, I don't know if maybe it's just like oxidized, but it's been feeling really dark on my skin and not matching with my neck or anything. So it was time to say goodbye. Um, so maybe when I have some more color on my skin as the weather continues to get warmer, I'll repurchase this, but we'll see. I do really like this because it's like an SPF product first, um, and then it's tinted. It's not like a makeup product that also has SPF. So really like that. I also am interested to try other products from Elta MD, like their body sunscreens and stuff, but I have a couple others that I'm trying to use up. Another mascara to mention is this Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I believe they recently reformulated this or they came up with a second mascara. I have it, but I can't remember which is which, if it's either a new, completely new one or if they just like reformulated this. Um, but I really like this. I like Ilia products as a whole. Again, this is just like empty-ish and dry. So it's time to say goodbye. Usually I try not to keep mascara for too long um, or have more than like one or two open at a time. But I like putting little travel size ones in my purse so I can touch up if needed and then having like one open one um, just at home. Another face product, we've got this Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus perfecting and smoothing makeup and skincare primer and this is infused with vitamin b5 and hyaluronic acid i got this at an event um right before the pandemic started so it's been like two years and it took a really long time to finish this up just because obviously i wasn't putting on makeup for you know a majority of 2020 and like a chunk of 2021 either before getting vaccinated and everything um but I liked this. I have a different primer that I'm using right now that I really like as well. This does give like a little bit of a silicone-y feel, which I don't always like. Um, but if that's something that you're looking for in a primer, I would recommend checking this out and it's available at the drugstore. Next up, we've got one of my favorite products from Kosas. This is their Baseline Hyaluronic Lip Balm. I have like a little bit left in it, but it's getting like kind of sticky because it's old. Um, so I have a new one already though in my makeup area, but I do really like this. I think they actually recently repackaged them um, because before the ones that were uh, different colors were all the same like white and then they just like set it on the back what the color was. So I think that they actually recently repackaged it. Um, so I'd look out for that, but I really like Kosas products and I do really like this one, but like I said, it's just was getting to the point that it was time to say goodbye. All right, we are approaching the end with the last category, which is body and shower products. This is another item that's in a lot of my empties. This is the Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel. I use their razors as well, and I really like them. And you can just pick this up at Target. Not anything too special, but just a staple, you know, shower product to use another staple shower product i'm surprised honestly that i don't have a second one of these but i have two other body washes as well that i'll talk about in a second this is the necessaire uh eucalyptus body wash i love the way that it's scented i love necessaire's packaging i love a lot of their other products and i would highly highly recommend this one another necessaire product is the body lotion from them this is a fragrance free body lotion just a staple product in my uh, beauty regimen. Honestly, it's one of my favorites from them. Um, I know I'm gonna say that again about this next product, which is their body serum. I really love this and I know we're only in March right now, but wait until next holiday because they typically, 
or at least for the past two years have done a deal where they give this away for free um i think during black friday when you make a purchase on their website so if you're purchasing something else from them you get this for free which is awesome this is also a fragrance free item as well like that conditioner i mentioned before this is a kind of random whole foods purchase that i made one day um this is the walita hydrating body lotion and this was in the scent i don't know what but it had sea buckthorn extracts um and let's see if i can see what scent it had yeah lemon citrus geranium um it did smell very citrusy and i did like this but it was just really thin um, and it left my skin feeling like a little sticky. And what I like about this is that it doesn't leave my skin feeling sticky and it's pretty thick, um, but it is like absorbs really well into the skin. Oops. And this one took a second to do that. So I don't really know if I would repurchase this, um, but I just, like I said, this is one of my favorites. So would recommend that above most other things. Um, but I do have another another lotion a lot of this stuff is things that i got um these last items from lush or things that i got in like holiday sets so this is the dream cream body lotion i used to use this a lot back in the day when i was really into lush in like late middle school early high school when it was really big on youtube um and this reminds me that i actually want to go to the mall and check out because they should have their easter things out right now and they usually have really cute things for like different um holidays and seasons so i want to go check that out because i do love lush products for the bath but this is the dream cream body lotion like i said um and this is just hydrating it has like a very mild scent nothing too crazy and if you hold on to five of these different containers from lush you can get a free uh fresh face mask from them so i'm actually gonna do that because I have three other products um, from them that I've held on to that are empty as well. This is another one from Lush. This is the Rub 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 Shower Scrub. It's a mouthful. Um, but I honestly didn't really love this, mostly because it left my skin feeling really oily after I would use it. And I don't love that feeling, especially like when I would put lotion on after, even if it was my necessary one that I really like, it would always feel really like thick and just like I didn't like the feeling of feeling like coated so don't know if i would recommend that one but i would recommend the necessaire uh body scrub because i have that one in my shower right now and it's really great um last two products of the video i can't believe we're already done we've got two shower gels from lush these were also in holiday sets that i was given just like the other things that i mentioned um this is the snow fairy shower gel I just love this scent it smells so good it's super nostalgic for me because i like i said used to be really really into lush when i was younger i still like them but i'm not like obsessed obsessed like i used to be so i love this scent it just smells amazing and then i also got the rose jam shower gel this was in a gift set that i was given and it smelled nice um also smelled kind of nostalgic because i feel like a lot of things from my childhood were rose scented like dolls and like makeup products and stuff so every time i would shower with this it kind of reminded me of that um but i did like this i just would prefer the snow fairy because i am very partial to that scent well guys that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed going through some of these empty products with me now i'm staring at them all on the dining room table and i need to clean them up and go and take them to a place to be recycled um to credo beauty that's usually where i go and drop off things they have a TerraCycle recycling program um you can also recycle your products directly through TerraCycle, and you can get a uh mailing label to mail them in and they will recycle them for you because unfortunately a lot of beauty products are even if they're you know clean and they're vegan and cruelty free and like sustainably made a lot of the times they're not uh easily recycled like a lot of things if they have different materials like 
doe fit applicators or wands or like the lids are different than the body like there's a lot of things so i would definitely recommend you don't need to obviously like hoard your beauty trash like i do for these videos but i would definitely recommend looking into ways that you can recycle your products properly because like i said a lot of the things that go into the recycling don't actually end up being recycled and that is really unfortunate especially because plastic is here for a long time and we're not down for that so that's my little spiel on recycling but i usually have resources linked on the accompanying empties blog post so like i said you can check that out down below don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video again really soon bye